Here we are on part 12 of my walkthrough for Dragon Warrior, and we're about to go into the Dragon Lord's Castle and finish this thing up. We need another 4,000 to level up, but uh, I'm not going to be leveling up anymore. Just going to go ahead and pop my way over to the castle here, so you can see how to get to the Dragon Lord. Um, if you do it right, you can actually get all the way through the uh, dark part of the dungeon here on one radiant spell, but you do have to take the uh, straightest way you can to be able to make it. Um, one thing to note is while you're going through here to get to the Dragon Lord, you're going to want to run from every single fight. Otherwise, you just uh, won't have the resources you need to actually finish it. As you can see the I still get beat up. Um, I like to use herbs to heal myself to try to conserve my magic. Just work our way through here and head down this first staircase. Erdrick's armor is helpful if you don't get in a fight for a long time. You can get back some of your hit points. You can see the sword respawn there, but uh, we already have it. Head down these stairs here. Then we're going to want to head to the left. I had to stop and think there for a second. Head down the stairs here. Work our way up to the north. Then we're going to want to take the staircase that goes down, but the out of the way one. You can see my light starting to trail. This is a one way path, so kind of hard to get lost even though we can't see very far. Just head to the right across this big room. Um, a couple enemies you want to watch out for while we're in here. One is the Armored Knight. Uh, these enemies are only located on the very, very bottom of the place. Uh, this guy cast Hurt more. I think he cast Sleep. I don't know. I, I don't bother trying to fight him. And also the Red Dragon, which um, they're super dangerous too. And here we are. We finally made it to the bottom floor of the castle. Which, uh, fortunately, we can see down here. We got a uh, one locked door here, which has some treasure behind it. Alright, some more herbs. And a cursed belt. Some wings, so we can get out of here. Ooh, a big chunk of gold that we don't need. As you can see, I got like 52,000 gold. Got another herb and a magic key. But anyway, you don't necessarily have to pick up those chests, but I do like to get the two herbs out of there. Just uh, walk our way around this outside part. The reason you need to conserve your MP is you're probably going to have to heal yourself eight or nine times to make it through this fight, so that 10 MP apiece takes pretty much all we got. Um, before facing the Dragon Lord, we're going to want to use herbs to uh, heal ourselves up, which I was already at full life, so I didn't need to. He asked if you want to join him. If you do agree and join him, it uh, ends the game, so you have to say no to fight him. Here we are with the battle with the Dragon Lord. It's a dramatic fight here. Oh, alright, I beat him in two hits. Wait, wait, oh no, he's got a new form. He's a huge dragon. Um, this fight's not exactly hard. Basically, you just want to keep your hit points above 50, since he does about 50 points of damage when he attacks. And, uh, just keep trading blows with him, attacking, healing, attacking, healing, attacking, healing, until he eventually goes down. It's, uh, not really all that hard. But the music for this fight is great. I love it. <clears throat> so you notice you do barely any damage to him at all. He's only got a hundred hit points. So it's uh not too terrible.
Woohoo! Thou hast defeated the Dragon Lord. We found the Ball of Light. Only thing left to do now is just head back to the castle and go up and talk to the king one last time. <laughs>